Hi, welcome back to Baking with Josh and Ange. Hi you guys, how's it going? This one is super excited, wanna know why? It's officially fall! It's finally here! It's still pretty hot outside. It's still but, pretty hot but, but, in California. But it's here and it's gonna get cooler and I'm going to love it. This one loves fall. His birthday's in November. Yep, we got married in November. Why did we get married in November? Because you wanted to get married in the fall. I did, I did. I didn't want to be hot on my wedding. You guys, he had some requests. <laughs> you were a little bridezilla. Groomzilla. You were a groomzilla. But we had a beautiful wedding in the fall. We did. And I loved it. And I was so glad we got married I in know, the fall. I know, me too. Me we're, too. we're coming up on our second wedding anniversary. It's crazy. We're just a couple of kids. Yeah. With kids. <laughs> with kids. What are we making today, Josh? Today we are going to be making pumpkin spice donuts with a brown butter glaze. They are so good. And they're really pretty easy. I mean, it sounds complicated with the brown butter glaze, but it's worth it. I mean, you guys, he loves fall. I love donuts. Could there be anything better? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, let's make some donuts, baby. <laughs> All right, here's what you'll need to make the pumpkin spice donuts. One third cup canola oil. One third cup sugar. One third cup brown sugar. One egg. One fourth cup buttermilk. Three fourths cup canned pumpkin puree. One teaspoon vanilla. One and one fourth cups all purpose flour. Two teaspoons pumpkin pie spice. One teaspoon baking powder one teaspoon salt. What's our first step? What do you think our first step is? Oh no, I don't need a quiz. <laughs> I don't know, what, maybe. What do we usually do before we start the recipe? I don't know, we're gonna turn the oven on. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, 350. I don't wanna be quizzed. <laughs> we are using the mini donut tin because we love the little mini donuts. We do, they're so cute. They're so cute and they're great for a little snack and perfect for our kids. Exactly. Now we use this baking spray, which is great, but you can also grease it with butter. All right, there Good you go. Good job. Now we're going to combine the flour, the pumpkin pie spice, the baking powder, and the salt. So again, we just whisk the dry ingredients together. So I know why, I know why. why. So everything bakes evenly. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, confetti, <laughs> confetti. <laughs> Nice. I'm actually learning things. And Josh reminded me that today it's been one year that we've made a video every Sunday. Yep, September 24th, 2017 was our super cute panda cookie episode. <laughs> that seems so long ago. I know, and that's it's been a year, so we put out 52 episodes. 52. Since then. All by ourselves. That's Just amazing. Us here, <laughs> us here, and our cats and our dogs. <laughs> Oh crap. And this. Sorry. Yeah, that's probably okay, totally okay. fine now. Okay. I'm done. I'm done mixing. So thanks for sticking with us because this is kind of our, our Baking with Josh and Ange anniversary episode. And it will also be our last episode. No! So, uh... Don't say that. You know, our friend Colleen Ballinger was like, you guys should do this. We tried it for a few months and then we were like, oh, that's a lot of work. And I was going back to Canada. Yeah. And then we took like five, five yeah. months off. And then we came back committed. And we've been doing it and every we've had week. We've such a great time. Yeah. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for sticking with us. And we can't wait to see where the next year will go. Yes, so happy one year anniversary. <laughs> and of course, we're making donuts. We're making donuts. Because okay. that's, that's really the point of this baking channel anyway. <laughs> to make Angela it's, happy. It's to make me happy. <laughs> to make me sweet treats. Okay. So the next step is to make the wet mixture. We're going to add the canola oil and the sugars and then we're going to whisk those together. So we're just gonna get this good and mixed and then add the egg okay. and the buttermilk. We mix this together until it's nice and smooth. The next thing we're gonna add is the pumpkin. You wanna smell? Mmm, yum. Mm. I love all the pumpkin recipes, guys. Yeah. I love them. Last year we did the little mini pumpkin pies. Yeah, the mini pumpkin pies were so, the kids so love those. So good. I think yeah. we should make those for um, Thanksgiving this year. We should. We, we should. should, Angela. Okay. Add this in. Okay and then we'll add a vanilla too, and then we can whisk that together. All right, this pumpkin soup is looking great. So now it's time to add the flour, and you wanna add about half the flour first, whisk it together, and then add the rest, and whisk that up until it's nice and smooth. And then we'll be ready to transfer the donut batter into the mini donut pan. Sounds good. Yay. I would probably just add this donut batter with a spoon, not Josh. <laughs> He's gonna put it in this frosting bag, and then perfectly squeeze it. Well, you want your donuts to look look nice. I know? do, baby, I do, but I'm just saying, if you don't have the frosting bag, you could do it with a spoon and just kind of clean it yeah. up a little. All right, so we're gonna pour about half of the batter in because this recipe makes 
24 mini donuts. So we're only gonna make 12 to start with. So you wanna fill up each donut section about three fourths of the way to the top, because it's gonna rise a little bit. Mm. All right, you don't wanna get too full, otherwise it'll close up the donut hole. Ah, <laughs> I feel like that's something I would do. I think I would probably put too much in there. All right, so we just go really nicely around. Okay, do I get to do one? You can do, you can do the last half, okay? Oh, okay, thanks. So you have half of them will be pretty. <laughs> I gotta hedge my bet. <laughs> kind of smoosh it in and you can really feel how much you're getting out. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, you're good to great. know. Good she's to know. She's doing great. Why are you surprised? I'm not. One year of consistent baking every week and she's a, she's a pro. I feel like you're like that PE teacher I had in gym who was like, you can do it, Kinsey. <laughs> you got this. All right, yeah. he's fixing no, a few of No, no, just, right. just a little bit more in there. You okay. did great though, really. So now these go into the oven for about 13 to 15 minutes depending on your oven. But how do you know when they're done? Well you can tell they're done when they're like lightly golden and when you touch them they kind of spring back. All right. All right. Let's put these in the oven. Okay, so while the donuts are baking, let's talk toppings. Let's Does do that it. sound great? <laughs> um, so it's so cheesy. Sometimes we're like, oh my gosh, that sounds so cheesy. But you can eat these donuts plain. They're totally yummy. Or you can dip them in a little melted butter and cinnamon sugar, which they are delicious that way. They are, they really are. Or you can go the extra Josh mile yes. and make the glaze. And you're not gonna be disappointed if you do because it's pretty easy and they taste so good. It's just, just all the yummy, yummy stuff. stuff. So here's what you'll need to make the brown butter glaze. One fourth cup butter. One half cup brown sugar. Two tablespoons milk. Two tablespoons maple syrup. One and a half cups powdered sugar. One half teaspoon vanilla. To make this brown butter glaze, first melt butter in a small saucepan over medium low heat about three minutes. Stir the mixture constantly until the butter turns golden brown. Next, remove the butter from heat and transfer into a medium bowl. While the butter's still warm, whisk in the brown sugar, milk, maple syrup, and vanilla until well combined. Then slowly whisk in the powdered sugar until smooth. And now you're ready to put the glaze on the donuts. All right, so Angela went for a quick bathroom break, but the donuts are done, so I'm gonna take them out of the oven. They look great, they smell great. So as you can see when you push on them, they kind of spring you back. So that's how you can tell that they're done. And they're nice golden brown, so we're gonna set them to the side, let them cool in the pan for about five minutes, and then we'll transfer them to this wire rack to cool completely before we put the glaze on. Sorry, I had to go pee. Is that an overshare? I mean, these things, they happen so quick, babe. He like yelled at me in the bathroom. I was like, I, I'm peeing. These have cooled for about five minutes on the rack, and so now we're ready to put the glaze on. Now the glaze, you want to make sure the glaze is warm when you put it on. That way it'll, it'll dry smooth. Okay. Okay, mm. how's it taste? It's so good. I know. The way you put the glaze on is really easy. You're just going to dip the donut in, Ooh. just kind of plop it in. And then you take a straw or like a wooden dowel or something, then we just put it back on the wire rack. So while you're putting your glaze on, if you notice the top of this gets like firm or a little crusty, you can just mix it. And if it's just cooling off too much, put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds. I just drop it in. Yep, drop it in. Swiggle it around. Yep. Ah, <laughs> it's slippery. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, great. Look at All that. Right, so Ann's just doing that. I have one finishing touch that I like to do with these donuts. Sprinkle a little bit of pumpkin pie spice on top of the donuts. It just gives it that extra flavor that's so fall. He's so fancy. <laughs> he loves his fall desserts, people. <laughs> so here I have the pumpkin pie spice and a little fine mesh strainer um, that I'm gonna shake on top. So I just put a little bit in, gently shake it on top. Oh, that looks so cute. It looks look cute. Oh my God, I can't wait to eat one. You did a great job glazing these, babe. Thank you. Yeah. So these will take about a half hour for the glaze to completely harden on top, but you could have one now. They will taste delicious. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Really. I got to have one on that. Mm. That's so good. good. All right. I got to try one too. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah. I know. I mean, so good. The combination of the pumpkin donut and the, the glaze, 
Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. If this glaze is too sweet for you or you want something a little easier, you can do the cinnamon sugar mixture mm -hmm. or you can just leave the donuts plain and they're delicious that way as well. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Delicious donuts, perfect for your fall cozy get togethers. <laughs> I don't know why I just always say cozy. <laughs> cozy get together. Cozy, it's fall, <laughs> it's cozy. Um, these are delicious. And what are we making next week? Gluten free vegan apple crisp. A lot of you have written in and requested gluten-free and vegan desserts, and so Josh has been researching, and you made this. It's really good. Yeah. Cade loved it. He did love it. He it's the scored it. big with Cade. So um, we'll see you next week where we're making gluten-free, vegan, apple crisp dessert. <laughs> right. Bye, guys. Your birthday's in November. My birthday's in November, November 11th, if you, in case you want to get me a present. No, don't. You can't pimp out people for gifts. Why not? You guys... Stop! Oh my gosh. If you okay. want to, you don't have to. No, no, there's okay. no obligation. I'm really excited um, to eat my donut. This is my excited donut song. <laughs> I'm working on it. Oh, it's a dream every day, baby. Oh, it is. You're living the life. Alright, ready? Okay. <laughs> Dishwasher. Get your finger in there. Ha, ha, ha.